We'll do a second example in this video. Just to recap, to solve word problems with a system of equations, we first identify the unknowns, writing variables for them, then we write two equations using the information, we solve it, and we check our answer. So in example two, the sum of two numbers is four less than twice the larger. If the larger is decreased by three times the smaller, the result is negative 20, find the numbers. Now again, we first have to identify the unknowns and write variables. So our unknowns are obviously the two numbers, and some people might be tempted to use x and y. But notice the wording that they use. It talks about the larger, and it talks about the smaller. So in this case, we're going to use letters that make sense. We'll have L represent the larger, and S represent the smaller. Be careful that your letter S does not look like a 5. There's a 5, and here is my letter S. I'm going to make it extra curly, so it looks like a letter. So, sum, this one is going to be a little bit more interesting. The sum of two numbers, so the, our two numbers are larger and smaller. The sum of two numbers, L plus S, is equals 4 less than, so something minus 4, the sum of two numbers is 4 less than twice the larger. Twice the larger. L plus S equals 2L minus 4. And then it says if the larger is decreased by three times the smaller. If the larger is decreased by, which means we start with the larger and then we subtract something from it, the larger is decreased by three times the smaller. Three times the smaller the result is equals negative 20. All right, so here is my system of two equations. And to solve, we first are going to have to do a little bit of rewriting. I'm actually going to rewrite both of these equations. Um, this first equation, I would like to combine like terms by getting all my variable terms over here on the left. So when it says uh, 2L over here, I'm going to actually subtract 2L no, you know what? Why don't I subtract L from both sides? And I will get S equals L minus 4. All right, so essentially what I did is I uh, subtracted L from both sides. The second equation, um, yeah, actually we can leave the second equation right as it is. I was going to rewrite it, but L minus 3S equals negative 20. So here's my new system. Now I'm going to use substitution because s equals l minus 4. That's a, almost an obvious case of substitution. So I'm going to substitute l minus 4 where it says s. l minus 3 times the quantity l minus 4 equals negative 20. And now we just use the distributive property. Minus 3l plus 12. Notice negative 3, negative 4 multiply to form a positive 12 and combine like terms negative 2L plus 12 equals negative 20 subtract 12 from both sides negative 2L equals negative 32 so this will give us if we divide by negative 2 L equals a positive 16 so our larger of the two numbers is 16. And we can substitute this into any of these equations. Uh, I'm going to use the easiest, which is s equals l minus 4. So that would be 16 minus 4. s would be equal to 12. Now don't forget, once you've solved the equation, once you've solved the problem, we want to check. So here will be our check. Don't check against the original equations. Check against the original word problem. The sum of two numbers. Well, we found 16 and 12 to be the two numbers. 16 plus 12 is 28. The sum of two numbers is 4 less than twice the larger. Well, the larger is 16. Twice the larger is 32. And we want it to be 4 less than. So 28 is, in fact, 32 minus 4. Check. And then it says the larger, if the larger is decreased, 
by three times the smaller. So again, we're going to start with the larger. If the larger is decreased by three times the smaller, well, three times 12 is 36. And 16 minus 36 is a negative 20. The problem says if this happens, the result is negative 20. Check. So my final answer is correct.